Hello, it's Sarah, and I am in the home stretch, guys. This is it. This is the final piece of the puzzle. So I have added a little bit of extra bling here and there. I put these blings in that gap, which are the same as here, but I just put these in clay. And I put ball chain on the top and bottom of the center. So I basically just used what I'd already used. So this ball chain is here and this is there. So I tied that in and now I glued these little guys on. I'm just gonna fill in these spaces with um, gold leafed. So I'm gonna gold leaf now some black clay and cut it to fit specifically into these places. And then once it's baked and I've glued that in, I'll then decide if I wanna add any other little um, filling in of the gaps, any other little grout. So I also did some embossing on the side with gold embossing powder. I just stamped out my breast cancer. So the same stamp that I used here to do my focal image, I used to emboss the edges with some gold embossing powder. So right now, I mean, let me just wipe this off. I just noticed that it's got all that sticky ink on it. I'm gonna do it with black clay and I haven't done this gold leafing in a while so I'm gonna put my embossing buddy away and my embossing powder. Alright, um, I've got this block of Primo Sculpey black. I think I'm gonna do, let's just take one block off of it and see how much I get and I just start off with my acrylic roller so that I can um, fit it in my pasta machine. I do use a pasta machine to condition my clay. It's just easier. I'm impatient and actually this is not going to be enough. So I'm going to get another block and get that conditioned. This is nice and soft. It's not, it's not as sticky soft as the Sculpey 3 though. I like Primo. That is my go-to clay for mostly everything. All my projects. But I use Sculpey 3 as well because sometimes they have different colors that I like. Um, I want to get this into a sheet. So let's see. I'm at a number 5 which is a like pretty like mid middle uh, thickness like ply. Some of these are like for instance this piece is probably like a number three. That looks like a five. This one I had to do a little wider because of this this had like little shanks on the back of it. This one's quite thin. So I have a little bit of a difference and some of the stuff is stacked. So there's highs and lows um, and I like that. It adds uh, interest. So but for this, I think I'm going to stick with this. I like the size of this number five. After I put the gold leafing, I'm going to um, add some texture as well. So what I mean by that is I'm going to either um, roll some, I, I'm pretty sure this little piece here is what I used. So it's just like kind of a leaf pattern on there. This one has... Um, I think that's the leaf as well. This one is a different one. I have these little, um, a bunch of these different wheels. So, but I'm going to need some wider pieces down here. Like this one's going to be, actually it could go that way probably. But this is a bit wider than that. That would fit perfect. So I'll probably do the leaves. But I was thinking I would try this one which it's similar, it has, um, well that's my son. He is, Matthew is driving cross country right now. He is in a rider van going to Vegas from New Jersey. So he's been on the road for about, let's see, since Friday afternoon. Anywho, um, He's helping a friend move there, so they, he needed a driving partner. Um, what was I saying? So.
So I'm going to lay the gold leafing over the clay and roll it out a little bit, like get it adhered on there. But then I think I just want to see what this is going to look like as a pattern. This one has kind of a leaf, a vine, and then other. I just want to see if I like it. And because it's not for polymer clay necessarily, the stamp, it's just um, for ink. So I want to see if it gives a, a good impression. Something that I would, ah, I like it. I think I like that. It's a little wide. Like, let me, I'm just going to cut this out just for, um, to see the size. I just want to see the size. Sorry, this whole project has been so different for me as far as, I have always done mosaics, my, the other mosaics I've done, um, simply by making a bunch of tiles, all you know, different types and styles and shapes, and then putting them into the mosaic by seeing like a puzzle, you know. This one I've specifically made each tile for this project, so it's been different. So it's too big for there. It's a little big for here, but I kind of like it. Maybe I could cut this off, off that part and just use that. That's kind of cool looking. I think that's gonna be, I might use this. And I could go this way maybe, hmm. So I'll definitely, and then look at that. That's kind of got a cool, I could just cut that out. So we'll. I think I'm gonna try that one. So let me just get this. I'm going to um, call my son, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. He's in New Mexico now, so I was just looking at, like, this, the map. So we're all the way over here. They're like, boop, New Mexico. So they're almost there to um, Nevada, which I don't know where Vegas is. There it is, Las Vegas. Um, so, yeah, I think he said... They've driven 36 hours, and they have 11 hours to go. So anyway, um, here's my gold leaf. Now I am using, this is called Mona Lisa. I'm pretty sure there she is, right? It contains 25 leaf sheets. They're five and a half by five and a half. So maybe I should make this five and a half by five and a half so I don't waste it. I don't want to, um, let's see how big it is. This is only four. This is two blocks of this block and I'm down I put it up to the number seven I decided to go a little thinner because that way I can cut it even after it's baked I'm gonna fold it again and um, I'm just gonna do it I can't I can't change the shape listen you guys think I'm an expert of polymer clay I am not at all um, all right so I like, maybe I might even have a piece, but what I was saying was, I know there are different types of gold leafing. This just says authentic metal leaf technique. Um, and I know that there are little papers in between each sheet, so you gotta be careful. It's very, very thin. So I'm gonna see what I have here. I haven't used this in a very, like, so there are some pieces that I've, you know, saved. But I'd like to get a sheet. Yeah, I still have some full sheets, but that's like a little piece. But you have these tissue papers in between. Here we go. So here's a full sheet. And let me move some stuff out of the way. Um, because... I kind of want to just gently pull it over. It's very thin. There we go. Hold on. And just oh boy, my finger stuck to it. So in other words, you want to just let it stick to the clay naturally kind of like that, and then just smooth it out. Good, all right, I like that. Move this, but 
the pieces that are off the edge, I can rip that and put it back on here and use it. So I've seen, um, gosh, what is her name? I haven't been watching YouTube videos lately, but anyway, there's another clay artist and she mixes mica, different like um, gold leaf and different thing flakes, gold leaf flakes, mica flakes in the clay. So that, I mean, you can use it all different ways, but I'm gonna gently, let me just roll this. Get it adhered. I love it. Oh, it makes me so happy. This project, I was saying in the other video, I've just enjoyed this project so much for some reason. I haven't done anything like this in so long. Anyway, I'm, I'm not having any luck getting the, you know what, let me use my X-Acto blade maybe. I think the kids are getting home from school. I really don't, I could just probably use scissors. Ah, uh, my little scissors, my cutter bees. And I don't care, I don't need to save it. I have plenty more, but. Kirby, stop. Oops, but look at, see how it blew? That's what I was saying, like it's very light and so, anywho. I'm so rough. I'm just going to pull it. OMG. Sorry about that, my dog. She's not a camera dog, I guess. She's just a dumbass. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So, now I'm going to take this, and I think I'm going to go the long way so that I get a nice bit of it. Oh, it's so shiny and, oh man, this is so cool. Um, so let's go for it. I'm going to start rolling. I think I want to do again. And maybe I'll do a thin one. Look how gorgeous. Can you see this? My lighting is terrible, but anywho, I'm going to take my blade and release it from the tile. and then cut it into pieces that are going to fit on my piece and then I'll bake, I have to bake them so I have a little separate tile to bake on. I didn't go very straight, did I? Kind of crooked, but it's alright. Um, let's go with Now I could actually just bake that like that and cut it after it's baked, which I might just do because I think it's, um, oh, that's the perfect size for there. I might need, I'm going to do, I think I might do that. Oops, I have a wider um, tile. And then I'm going to need... I think I want to do the wider one. Including those little dots, that trim. So I'll do this. It's a little too wide.
I'm going to bake that one. And let me see if I can get one of these at least. I'll make sure they're like really straight before I put them in the oven. This one looks a little wonky. That's straight. I can definitely get this piece. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, that gold leafing. So I'll bake those and then I'll be back. All right, be right back. All right, you guys, this is it. All baked. And I'm I'm not disappointed. I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed, but I really like the thickness of this tile. And these are super thin. But you know, it's whatever. It'll it'll be fine. And thinking about it, it's like that's exactly what it looks like already. I don't know why. I think I just broke it up more like some of the black clay showed through on here more than it did on here but that's okay and look how thin so now I can basically cut this with my scissors and I did it just a couple thin ones um, just to put in my stash and have um, so I'm going to get some glue and we're gonna get to gluing <clears throat> and uh, Yeah, I really love the embossing. And I probably won't put it on the top and bottom. I don't know why. But I'm so happy with this. All right, let me get my glue. Not my water bottle. And I'm I'm up for suggestions for the next um, I have to do my October art journal page, though. I want to do that. But suggestions for the next um, theme for the next one, which it doesn't have to have. It. Yes, it does. I just said how. Oh, I can't get this out. Maybe it's... Um, getting low I'm pretty sure I have a whole nother one so it'll probably come out of there all right let me go get it all right I just decided to open it I just opened this one and I can get plenty out of there I don't know so this is the um, lid and then here's the bottle And this is, I mentioned this in the previous video, but it's Weld Bond White Glue. And I was actually um, turned on to this by a mosaic, a glass mosaic shop. They sold um, all the supplies for stained glass and stuff like that. All right, so I think this big one is what I want to put in here, I think. So let me get my scissors and put it in there see I'm sorry this is all ugh. watch out glue I'll move this all right hold on move that and put this in the center I think I might trim that and put it here will it fit Ugh. see it's too wide all right, let me get this one. This one's we cut. I cut off the edges of this one. Maybe this will be better. See, it's a little too thin for that spot, but this is going to go right here. So I'm just going to measure and say right at that little dot right there. looks good and then we'll do this side and I'll say 
again, probably right at that little dot. And then I can adjust that um, in a minute if I need to. I'll come in a teensy bit. I Before I bake these, I did think about embedding um, some type of gems in there and stuff, and I thought, no, it's fine. All right. So then this, I'm still, hmm, this could maybe go this way. That might look nice. Let's see what else I have. This one, which is just kind of just like this. It's a little thinner. I'm going to go with this one. <clears throat> They're actually both pretty close. So just get this edge straight. And I'll turn this around. I think that's going to go there. These are these are <clears throat> perfect width for this one. So let's say right about at the edge of this. I just eyeball it. I say that a lot, don't I? I use that word. So there's that. I like this. I think it's a little bit wider than this one, but I think it's a good fit. This one might be a little bit long, or is that one too short? I'm going to cut the, a little bit off of this one. Um, I like to just to have the equal spacing. So that's looking good. Um, I have silver leaf too. So silver leaf probably would have looked really good. And maybe I'll just make some before I glue to see if silver leaf, wow, I just thought of that. But I'm pretty sure I do have silver leaf. So I really want to use this one. I might just have to trim it because I don't have anything. This one's too narrow. This one could go this way, but I don't love it. And I think I'm going to put this here. So let me just um, right below that dot. And then I'm just going to cut off a little bit on each side, and I think it's going to fit perfect. Yep. So just below this dot. These are Tim Holtz tonic scissors and they're awesome. I cut everything with them. I really do. I mean, I'm I'm pretty tough on my tools, so but why not? I mean, I paid for them. I'm I mean, excuse me. Just evening it up. kind of look different. All right, that's it. But like I said, I do. I'm very curious. I'll be back. Let me go see if I can find my silver leaf. Found it. It took long enough, but this is silver leaf and it says See, this is not This is the Mona Lisa that I'm familiar with, but I don't even know if I've ever used this before. See, look. Well, no, I've opened it. But this is by Art Minds. Well, that's the same thing. Look. So I think I'm going to... I'm talking to my peeps, Joe. Okay. I think I'm going to do um, a couple pieces with silver. What the heck? And then I'll come back and show... We can decide. All right. I'll be back. All right. This is... I just want to show you because this is different. Ready Leaf Silver. Sorry, I have chocolate in my mouth. This is attached to this wax paper. 
So I'm going to lay it across. And kind of, what is this called? Burnish it onto the clay. And then it comes off the wax paper. So that was super easy. Oops. I didn't do as big a piece um, of clay this time, but because I know <clears throat> I'm just going to do one of these. I'm so crooked. And then I need to do this. Maybe I'll do one of these again. Because what did I use? I used... Oh, I left it in the kitchen. Babe, did I leave my piece in there? Yeah. I'm going to do this one more time. That one's really good. All right, I think that should be enough. All right, I'm going to bake this, and we'll come back and compare. All right, I have a feeling it's going to be gold that I go with, but I have to try it. I just have to. Um, so for right here is going to be these little pieces. And this is still really warm. This just came out of the oven. But let's give it a shot. I have a feeling it's going to be the gold. Ooh, I don't know. Because you know why? Well, let me measure. Hold on. The gold painting. I have to turn it. The gold paint underneath. Oh, we'll see. Hold on. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going to be wrong. So let's see. I'm going to cut this one. Look, it's it's like thinner than that one. Shoot. See this is thicker. I must maybe I pushed um I didn't push as hard. Oh, where'd the other piece go? Oh right here. So this sorry guys, I'm a little off tonight with I'm just trying to keep my eye on the spot where I want to cut it I don't know 
let me turn it around. See how that looks. It looks pretty good. I can't decide. <sighs> let me think. Uh, this one is going to be... I hope you're all yelling at the computer right now saying, Sarah, I like the gold. No, no, pick the silver. <laughs> but I can't hear you. I don't know what to choose. And that stink. I have a hard time making decisions. Oops, that's not right. I don't want to use that one. I messed up. This one. Right. It's a tough decision. I have to go show my husband. All right. I've made my decision. And I know, I don't know what you guys think or what you would pick. But I think I'm going to go with the gold. I love them both. But after really thinking about it, I just, I don't know why. I think for this piece, it's just going to be the gold. Um, I really liked how bright the silver showed up on the background of the gold paint, the paint there, but just, I don't know, I think it's richer. It's more rich with the gold, so I'm going to go gold. All right, you guys, and I don't think I'm going to add any other filler. There's just equal spacing and everything's looking really good so I'm just going to glue it and um, I'll post a pic on Facebook alright you guys thank you so much for being there through the whole process and I am I'm really 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 pleased with it and I know the lighting's bad but I like the gold I think the gold is what needs to be and my gold leaf because I did do the gold um, embossing so I love it and I'm looking forward I hear I'll go get the other uh, this is the other cradle board that I have and it's a bit bigger 8 by 10 I want to say this is like 9 look it's a bit bigger so just imagine what I can do on that. So I have to figure out a theme. But before I get started with that, I'm going to um, do the October Art Journal page. So, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching.